What's up boys? Rivera here. Messing around with this Volkswagen T2 pickup truck. Almost done. Candy blue. I'll show that in another video. I'm just making plans on making a bigger display case. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to show some customs that have already been sent out, delivered, picked up, or whatever. So, it's almost like a voiceover also. You'll see. Um, let me show you what I did. All right, guys, Ooh, right off the bat, these three beauties right here. These three, guys, was a special request from my buddy, John Austin. This Datsun 620, the Chevy Nova, and uh, he wanted a 62 Chevy. Now, he sent me some photos of uh, how more or less how he wanted them, so hopefully I executed this thing right, John. The first one is uh, Datsun 620. There it is right there, screwed down. I wanted real riders on all three of them. So this is a uh, black sand pearl paint. So it has a little bit of sparkle in it. You can't catch it unless you go out in the sunshine. But uh, you'll notice that, John. Um, tail, uh, details right there on the headlights, bumper lights, tail lights. Now on the back, that's not paint. I sanded those things down, those letters, one by one. <laughs> And then I clear coated the whole thing, man. This thing looks really, really cool. Really cool. Clear coat. Barely catch the sparkles. Not that much, but you'll see. Of course, it rolls perfect. So there's your Datsun 620. And this beast right here, man. This thing. I love this car, man. Um, this is a 68 Chevy Nova. Got it right there. There you go. Screw it down. Real Riders. Um, he said he wanted like a gunmetal or a stone gray. This is a gunmetal metallic paint, clear coat. I did the headlights, bumper lights, tail lights, reverse lights. Good. Really, really nice, man. So there's your Chevy Nova right there. And I know you guys been eyeballing this one. <laughs> this thing right here. Custom 62 Chevy, screw down, Real Riders. He sent me a couple of pictures as samples. Uh, he wanted a two-tone job on that one. He said to just, you know, put something together. So I went with this. I painted the whole thing beige. Then I went with this Fury Orange. Really, really clean, man. Details on the headlights, tail lights, reverse lights. Just wanted to do the Chevy logo right there but uh, it looks really really nice man and then uh, I got a surfboard from another one because the, the original one was like a brown so this one rolls really really good so there you go John real quick because I know you're gonna pick them up real soon Chevy 62 Chevy Chevy Nova Datsun 620 let me get these out of the way get the other ones okay guys this next piece is uh more of a restoration than a custom i'm just gonna show it and then talk about it this piece is gorgeous guys this is a 1962 chevy impala This piece was given to me by Snake's Diecast, so I can fix it for him. He did a custom out of it. He wasn't happy. He gave it to me and told me to do something to it. So it was like a like a stone gray or a gunmetal gray. To my surprise, when I stripped the paint, it was a chrome chrome finish. So uh, you know, I polished it best I could, and then uh, went with this transparent blue and then we clear coated it the base was just mangled the way you drilled it apart so I did the best I could um, probably have to put some tiny tiny washers right there so we can screw the base together a little bit better it's nice man the interior was also painted gray stripped the paint primered it painted it silver it looks good 
could look better with details and stuff, but I don't do interior details. Then I went with these real riders. The base inside also was just all with glue and it was just all bad. But no worries, Julian. Told you I had your back. Details on the headlights, tail lights, clear coated it. Now you can enjoy this beautiful piece, man, in your collection. Cool. And it rolls. Just considering the way it was, wish I would have done a took taken some before pictures or video, but he's on his way to pick it up. And there you go, man. Let me get this piece out of the way and move on to the next one. All right, guys. This next piece is also a custom for Snake's diecast. This is a Nissan Skyline GTR R34. I asked him what color he wanted. He said, surprise me, so I had some of this metallic brown paint left over. Sprayed that over the silver base coat. Started doing some details to the taillights emblem right there. The base was gray, so I painted that black. And um, it's turning out pretty good. Clean, man. Clear coat. Looking good. Kept doing some details. Just doing details on the headlights, bumper lights, side markers. Put some real riders on. Screwed it back together. Cambered it a little bit. And it rolls really, really smooth. So, hopefully I executed this piece good. Let me know what you guys think. Cool piece, man. Really cool piece. So he's gonna pick this one up also. Let me put this one to the side. Show you guys the next ones. All right, guys. So these next four customs, really, really cool. These are pieces of Nesto's video. He gave me permission to use this. So the first one is a um, Nissan Skyline GTR R32. This was from that fight pack, the yellow one. Stripped the paint. I went with this nice fury orange. Started doing some details to the headlights, corner lights, hood pins. What? Screw that back together, put some real riders on, rubber tires of course, there's some light details to the tail lights, why not? I know you like that piece, carnal, huh? So there's that one, really, really cool piece, man, smooth paint. The next one is the BMW 2002, regular mainline, original paint. All I did was spray uh, some color shifting paint on top of that so it shifts colors from like purple to blue so you guys can catch that go to his channel so i'm um, to his video so you can check that out in more detail and i put a metal base on this so it's nice and heavy i know he's gonna put some real riders on that <laughs> cool piece man really cool piece there's clear coat on it and then this next one, oh man, what a piece. This is a Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Just like the red mainline with the white tempos on it. I got the, these tempos from Nesto. Sprayed it white and then um, put those custom decals on it. So it looks exactly the same. Check this out. Put some clear coat on top. It's protected for life. I went with those red real riders. Black base also. Cool piece. And this last piece, guys. Oh, man, what a piece. I did a blue, a red one for myself, so I told Nesto not to make one. I was going to make a blue one also for him. This is a Brie Custom 83 Chevy Silverado. Nice, nice details on it all around. Headlights, tail lights. Spray some clear coat on it. So Nesto with his decals, man. I'm telling you. A while back, he sent me this little Nesto piece. So that's a nice little touch right there. Yeah, buddy. 
tail lights details put some real riders on it rolls that thing rolls perfect man screwed it back together i know that one stunned you carnal that's a cool piece man had a lot of fun doing that one a lot of fun thanks nesto for your support and those decals awesome there they are again cool pieces man all right guys well there you have it hope you guys enjoy the video um Shout out to my buddy John, shout out to Snakes Diecast, I'll leave a link to Snakes Diecast YouTube channel and his Instagram in the description below, go ahead and check him out, and shout out to Nesto, also the link to his video will be in the description below, and his Instagram as well, so go ahead and check him out. The next video, I'll have a haul, I'll show some stuff that I picked up, and I also ran into an ad on Craigslist that they're selling some Hot Wheels at a pawn shop, so pulled out a big old box and I picked up some stuff so I'll show and crack some stuff on that video as well so thanks for watching guys have a good week and I'll talk to you guys later